Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, welcoming DJ Katrona from El Rays from Dusk Till Dawn, Season 2, August 25th. Check it out. Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur K. and DJ Katrona. If I were to think of someone that I would not want to follow in an iconic role, well, how did I know this is going to Right, be? George Clooney from Dust Hold On. But yeah. you're doing a great job with it, man. Congratulations. Thank season you. two Thank of the you. series. I love season one, and I love just how you guys have stayed to the original, the concept. Yeah. It's great. But now we get to see the characters being explored in different directions in season two. Kind of cool, man. Yeah, yeah. It's Look, it's a great opportunity as an actor. You're looking for two things. I am, at least. I'm looking for a director that I respect, that I am a fan of, that I want to work with, and I'm looking for a cool character. And with this project, I got both in spades. Now, clearly, there's some, some uh, it's a tough act to follow, but the great thing about it and the thing that gives us all confidence, not just myself, is the fact that uh, we're not going back and doing this with someone else trying to do an imitation of what Robert did the first time. This is Robert himself, the creator and the director, saying, hey, I want to go back and, and do a, a reinterpretation of this project. So when Robert looks at you and says, you're my guy, you just you have to turn everything off and just go to work and, and do the best you can. He's one of my favorites. When yeah, you get to work with him, first of all, having him hands on, he's directing, he's writing, he's doing this yeah. whole thing he's with this. Editing, he's the editing, he's editing, he's cooking us pizzas and feeding us on the Please weekends. Tell me he's a great chef too. Oh, he's amazing. He's amazing. We, we, I'm not kidding. We go we go over his house on the weekends and, and we have these he makes these crazy uh, meals for us. He's got this gigantic pizza oven and he makes these insane pizzas, barbecue he mixes pe traditional pizzas with Franklin's barbecue. It's a, a famous barbecue spot in Austin and feeds us all this amazing food and we sit around watching movies it's uh, it's a great time yeah he's a great guy if you're ever looking for new bffs robert rodriguez yes, i am your I man am, i'm like, i'm now sold if you need a new friend robert rodriguez is the guy for for you, you get the best films to watch the best food to eat and he'll always make you look cool so one of the things I love is obviously with the Gecko Brothers, we yeah. seeing their adventures, but now we're getting to see the world's we're Mexico and then obviously Robert's version of Texas. He's got a different take on Texas than I think anybody that noirish feel to it. Yeah, it, that's a that's a great way to put it. I never actually thought of it like thought about it like that. You know, Robert's uh, he, all of his films are iconic and they have their own style. You know, Robert was born and raised in Texas and he works out of Texas and we're using the same crew and creative team he's used primarily his entire career. And, you know, Robert's done noir. Look at what he did with Sin City and yeah. with Frank Miller. He's done it he's such an amazing job. And nobody knows Texas better than Robert and, and his interpretation of it is really, really cool. It's this uh, heightened genre, you know, it's a noir in its own way, you know? You watch all of his films, from Desperado all the way down to, to, uh, to all the Sin Cities to, to even Dusk, you know? He's got this, this specific skew on everything he's doing, and uh, Texas is a big part of the project we're doing, and we're very lucky to get to shoot in the location that the story actually takes place, or some of the story. Um, and, you know, Robert's eye on it, man, is, is, is cooler than anything. Anytime you see him with the camera getting really low, on the ground, contorting in some strange place, you know that the shots are gonna look great. And uh, the way he shoots Texas is, uh, is is pretty iconic and great. I was joking around in the beginning, obviously about following George. Yeah, yeah This yeah. was early oh, no, George fine. Clooney. It's totally fine. But what was it like to follow George? I mean, obviously this is such well, a cult classic. Look, man, it, it, my, the problem was I'm a huge fan. You know, I'm a huge fan of Roberts, and I'm a huge fan of Quentin's and, and George Clooney's, obviously, and I've watched all of their work religiously. and. The first time I sat down with Robert and he described to me that he wanted to revisit this project and he told me that this is the part he wanted to play, none of that was anywhere near my brain. Zane's either. We were just two guys trying to get work and we wanted to work with Robert. And when it all came to fruition, um, you know, Robert is an amazing guy to work with and he trusts us as actors and he really gives us a lot of control and uh, lets us make our own choices and then just frames them in a way so they look really good. Um, so we had nothing but confidence in what we were doing in, uh, on set with Robert. It's truly collaborative and it's just, you know, the three of us, it's me, Zane and Robert fleshing out the Gecko Brothers every day. It's only when we finished that we started doing interviews, people would 
they kind of knock us on the head and remind us of uh, yeah, well, what we're following. following and you're like, oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but again, you know, look, we're very proud of the work we're doing. And, you know, I'm doing the same thing that, that all those guys probably did when they got this opportunity a million, you know, 20 years ago or whatever when they were working with Robert. They saw a director that they respected that had a lot of talent and they saw parts that they responded to and they just showed up at work and uh, read the dialogue and, and did the best job they could. So I'm just, just doing that every day. There was obviously already a built-in following with this movie. Oh, yeah. How have the fans responded? Yeah, and how? <laughs> and I love. I mean, the original was classic. It really is. How have the fans responded? Um, you know, it's funny. You you watch the, the the they run the gamut. I mean, overwhelmingly, it's been extremely positive. You know, again, when I watch Robert's movies and Quentin's movies and their their characters, the thing that I always come back to is, I want to see more of it. I want to live with the characters longer. They're so cool, you know? And uh, I think a lot of fans are, are appreciative and really enjoying the fact that they just have more opportunity to go through more craziness with these characters. So that's really fun to play and really fun to see people respond so positively to. Um, and the other thing is, uh, you know, during the first season we retread a lot of moments from the film to kind of remind people of the world and the characters. And it's also a different generation. I mean, oh, completely. We're, That's we're, what's we're, crazy is is talking to fans and kids that where it's reversed now, where they're seeing this before they're seeing the original Dusk, which blows my mind. But um, you know, it's uh, it's 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 a fantastic creative experience, and um, you know, we all feel very very lucky to be there, and and you know, we're doing it with Robert, so. So we're just happy to be a part of, of one of his his uh, one of his visions. You know, he said it best. He he said this is uh, he wanted to do a reimagining of it. You know, take the coolest elements and and relive with these characters a little bit longer. And I think we see that a lot these days. You know, uh, especially in film. You Everybody's know, everybody's remaking. You everything. are man. Like it's like like actors aren't the stars anymore. It's the characters. That's why every two or three years, I feel like you see a new version of Superman or Batman or pick your iconic character that yep. you love. We keep revisiting them because they're universal and because the audiences love them so much. And the thing about uh, Quentin's characters and Robert's characters is, we want that, but nobody else has access to them except those two guys. So when they give the green light and say, eh, let's try it again." You you dive for it, man, and 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 you know you put you let you push everything else aside, and you just jump at that opportunity. So we're having a great time. The production value of the show is phenomenal, and yeah. we're seeing. I mean, I, I say it to all the TV actors, we're in the golden age of television right 100%, now. Hundred percent, hundred percent. But with you guys, obviously, with Robert, so much of his vision is just incredible, almost movie-like quality, and he's yeah. translated to the television. Yeah. Talk to me about that that production value because it's it's just amazing. Yeah, well, I mean. You know, the crew we shoot with is, is, it's family style down there. It's the same crew Robert's been using his entire career. You know, we shoot out of Troublemaker Studios in Austin, Texas. It's Robert, he built this studio from the ground up. He shoots all his movies there. So the pace, it's just known generally that Robert shoots incredibly fast. He, he shoots fast. He, he shoots with the edit in mind. So they move very quickly. They're, they're, they're famously known for getting movies out faster than anybody and else budget. and under budget you know that he built his career on this and all of his films he shoots quick and he shoots he shoots faster than everybody else he shoots cheaper than everybody else but the end product the production value is always massive and again that's that's a testament to Robert and uh, his creative process and the crew and and we're very lucky because we get the benefit of decades of experience of them filmmaking like that and TV moves very quickly but What's funny is, you know, his his crew has been making films at that clip for so long with such a high production value. It's going to be telepathic at this point. Completely, compl it completely is. But so we get filmic quality uh, content at the same speed and the same budget that you know most people are doing regular TV with because we have you know the master of it behind so behind us. So there's we have the ultimate cool factor safety net in Robert Rodriguez. So we're, we're very lucky. You and I were just talking about obviously Austin and Texas yeah. and between what Robert's doing, Richard Linklater, they are blowing. Yeah. Texas has such an incredible film scene and it, yeah. it's, talk to me about that town because it, Austin, it feels like is is a, its own character on the show. Yeah, well, you know, the, the show, we shoot Austin for for I mean, we shoot it for everything. We go to a lot of crazy places in the show, but. Um, you know, I think just we're far away from Los Angeles. We're far away from New York. It's uh, on set 
and offset. It's a very it's family style, you know, with the crew and, and with the cast, the way we shoot. It it feels like we're making an independent movie every day, and it's funny when we actually see the the final product all edited and and when it's airing, you almost feel surprised. You're like, wow, we were making something cool. legitimate because it just feels so. Uh, you know, familial when we're shooting, and, and, and it's so unpretentious and uh, economical. And you know, part of that's intrinsic to Austin. It's such a cool town. It's laid back. It's growing very quickly. Great it's changing. Food, There's amazing bars. music, great bars. There's so much trouble to get into in the best <laughs> in the best possible way. You know, it's a great and in the worst. And in the worst, yeah, it's a good balance between you know, big city and small town and. There's a lot of stuff to do out and uh, outside, a lot of activities, and uh, we love it. We love, uh, I love being in Austin. It's so what trouble are the Gecko Brothers getting into this season? I've seen oh, Jesus the, Christ. the first couple episodes. I don't and know how much like I can spoil. Yeah, uh, well, you know. Give me the general dance around. I'll give spoilers. you the general circle dance that, that, uh, that, that I'm supposed to do. Let's see if I don't blow anything. Um, first season, obviously, you get the iconic Gecko Brothers that you know and love. You get this codependent criminal duo. Seth is the mouthpiece, the man with the plan. And Richie's, Richie's, he's a tactician, he's smart, but he's, he's getting, you know, he's going through some stuff. And obviously by the end of the season, all hell breaks loose, literally. And at the end of it, you have this, you have this character who's so used to having control and being in charge of everything, of everything. His brother's stripped away, hell exists, and he's been through it, and he's left with nothing. Um, and you take this career criminal, and then you take this 15-year-old, church-going, innocent girl, and they suddenly are the two people that have the most in common, which is nuts. So in the second season, we find uh, them together. And it's a weird dynamic, but it's a lot of fun to play. And for Seth this season, for season two, it's, it's an underdog story. You know, we take this guy who's used to being the man with the plan, and we strip him down to his worst. What does he look like when he has nothing left and he's given up? He's, he's on drugs, he's despondent, and he's... His process is just trying to get back to himself, a man trying to rebuild himself. And the arc that he goes through uh, in the second season is very, very large and, and, and pretty crazy. And the same for Zane. We start out separated when we're you know, very much one unit, and it's the slow story of how we click back, click back towards each other and, and uh, what happens in the process. Great dance around synopsis, man. Right? Yeah, I didn't say awesome. anything. That was, that awesome. was like the perfect neutral bullshit, but it sounds like I said something, right? It's it was great. awesome. True actor. Check out the new season. August 25th, I believe. Yeah, L. Yeah. Ray, Roberts Network. Congratulations from Dust Till Dawn. Congrats, CJ. Thanks, bro.